68 adjectives in daily spoken English. 1. Absurd. Absurd. You use absurd to describe something that is very unreasonable, incredibly illogical, or insanely inappropriate. Pay 100 bucks for an absurd price tag of this pair of shocks is absolutely wrong. 2. Affronted. Affronted. The word affronted derives from the verb affront in English. Affronted can be used as an adjective and mean that being insulted or hurt. She looked affronted when being criticized over her first art. 3. Bizarre. Bizarre. Bizarre is an adjective we use to describe something that is very weird or strange that might cause curiosity. It's frankly bizarre to sit and scroll flash news these days and times. 4. Blatant. Blatant. Blatant is used to describe something that is unashamed or something that is obvious or bold with a negative feeling in it. Many careless people have shown up as blatant hoarders throughout the pandemic. 5. Congruent. Congruent, this means to be in, in harmony with something or in an agreement with something. Hardworking isn't necessarily congruent with being successfully living. 6. Disingenuous, disingenuous, we use this adjective to describe someone or something that is insincere or dishonest or untruthful. Sharing some personal sadness over the social media platform could just be a pretty much disingenuous mourning over oneself. 7. Dramatic 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 is used to describe something or someone that are so related to drama or acting up. People are so overly dramatic promoting the coin business at most of the small investing groups. 8. Hello Hello. Hello is an adjective mostly used to describe the emptiness of something or empty feeling inside. She keeps smiling every single day, but we can see it's hollow inside through her eyes. 9. Lame. Lame. We generally use lame to express something that is not inspiring or dull or boring, something that is not convincible. The performance was pretty lame. Needless to say that the organization was somewhat uninteresting. 10. Overgeneralized. Overgeneralized is used to express something that is overly simple, conclusive, or something that is so so in general. This is the most overgeneralized review on a pretty high end action camera that I have ever seen. 11. Sentient. Sentient. Sentient is an adjective to express that something has its own perception or emotional feelings or conscious mind. Perhaps those sentient creatures do express their loves towards their own species too. 12. Accessible. Accessible. Something that is able to get access to or within reach. Our current Wi-Fi hotspot is accessible within the area of 25 meters. 13. Adjacent. Adjacent is used to describe a next to of something or adjoining of something. The kitchen and my brother's room are adjacent rooms in this house. 14. Agnostic. Agnostic is used to express something that is skeptical or in doubting. Religiously speaking, agnostic people are the ones who are skeptical of the perception about Almighty God. 15. Allergic. Allergic. Having an allergy of something or strong dislike something. I'm incredibly allergic to onions. I would probably sneeze a lot if I smelled its odor. 16. Anachronistic. Anachronistic is used to express something that is belonging to a previous period of time that could possibly hold an old-fashioned result in current time. 
As kids grow up, they would want to break out of the anachronistic control of parents to start their own new lives. 17. Asinine. Asinine used to express something that is extremely foolish or insanely stupid. Passing through an asinine list of questions for premarital mental health checkups, I was wondering how could it even be possible. 18. Skeptical. Skeptical, meaning having doubting mind or not really convinced mind on something. Firstly, the idea of investing in cryptocurrency was skeptical until the next booming of these coins stuff. 19. Besieged, besieged, express being oppressively surrounded and harassed. Many small businesses was besieged by the loans that could be predictably unpaid off. 20. Conservative. Conservative. We use this to express something that is conventional or traditional. And to be honest, I think conservative economic reformers are less likely bringing any changes. 21. Copious. Copious used to express something that is abundant or bountiful or considerable. The copious amounts of English learning videos on YouTube make it harder for this channel to be highly ranked. 22. Cringy. Cringy. Causing the feelings of awkwardness and timid. It's so cringy to watch some horror movies. 23. Cyclical. Cyclical. Behaving in a recurring or repeated way. This storm came as if it was cyclical seasons in the area. 24. Delightful. Delightful. It means something that causes delights or excitements. He seems very delightful when it comes to going to the park. 25. Delusional. Delusional. It means that something is not in agreement with the reality. It's really delusional to think of becoming rich overnight. 26. Destitute. Destitute. We use destitute to mean lacking of basic necessity for life. After the hurricane, many people in the village were left destitute due to unharvested crops. 27. Destructive. Destructive. Causing devastating destruction or damage. Harmful. There are a lot of destructive commands that ruined these discussions on its own. 28. Disastrous. Disastrous. It means that something is tragic or shockingly terrible. The accident left those car racers in a completely disastrous situation. 29. Disheartened. Disheartened means that causing someone to feel less confident or discouraged. He is feeling so disheartened with the state of his business post-COVID-19. 30. Disruptive. Disruptive, causing disruption or making things become uncontrollable or causing troublesome situation. The meeting had to end up in an unfavorable way due to the disruptive attitude of the headmaster. 31. Distraught. Distraught. This means deeply worried, depressed or agitated. She was so distraught when her cat passed out. 32. Flatland, flatland belong to self-importance, picky or boastful in a character. I was working with full of flatland office mates, and obviously I knew how to handle them well. Thirty-three, edgy, edgy. We use this to express someone who is tense or nervous or uneasy or sensitive character, or use it to describe sharp musical quality. He couldn't sleep much due to the edgy vocal music party played buzzing sounds around the neighborhood. 34. Agreeches. Agreeches. It is used to express something that is remarkably 
shocking or terrible or awful. The movie was particularly egregious in the end. Thirty-five. Emancipated. Emancipated. Be free from restrictions or liberated. Emancipated children would be really thankful to be out of the control of narcissistic, abusive parents. Thirty-six. Uncompassing. Uncompassing. This word derives from the verb encompass, which means include generally or something surround and hold within. There is no such thing like an encompassing book that could possibly give you all knowledge about life. Thirty-seven. Evangelical. Evangelical. Belong to the teaching of Christianity, religion, or traditional or conservative thoughts. Her family was pretty much evangelical, and her parents are just like those who are liberal. Thirty-eight, evocative, evocative, expressively bringing something to one's mind. The event was firstly given an evocative name, but then it didn't come up to expectations. Thirty-nine, extraneous. Extraneous. It means irrelevant or unrelated. I find it hard to toggle off the extraneous notification button that pops up every time I click on the menu bar. Forty. Extravagant. Extravagant, being lavish in spending money or wasteful. She was being called an extravagant girl when taking cabs to coffee shops every weekend. Forty-one, fabulous, fabulous, being phenomenal, extraordinary, or mind-blowing or wonderful. At younger age, we tend to trip us into fabulous places. Forty-two, fasco, fasco, being ridiculous or absurd. It was a fasco idea about sitting on a big balloon with full of water inside. Forty-three. Feasible. Feasible. We use this adjective to talk about doing something easily or achievable. They decided to go with a feasible plan of carrying out that event. Forty-four. Flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Shockingly surprised or amazed. I am totally flabbergasted at how good this show is. Forty-five, gigantic, gigantic, enormously large or massively great extent. The giant dog can easily get through a gigantic hole on this wall. Forty-six, glamorous, glamorous, being attractively beautiful or eye-catching. This is just more than a glamorous event on the side of the lake. Forty-seven, glorious, glorious, being noble, impressive, or magnificent. The most glorious name does belong to the Almighty God alone. Forty-eight, God awful, God awful. We use this to express something that is extremely unpleasant. Moving back to parents' home in late twenties was a totally god awful experience that I've been through. Forty nine. Hereditary. Hereditary. We use this adjective to express something that is inherent, inborn, or based on inheritance. Feudalism is a hereditary societal mechanism that reigns in years. Fifty. Hideous. Hideous. Being ugly or disgusting, she bought a hideous blazer, which she had to return it. Fifty-one, inclined, inclined, being biased or having a a lean vertically or horizontally, being prone to. Traditional parenting is inclined to keeping customs in orders. Fifty-three. Indigenous, indigenous, being native or original, the woman is one of those who keeps one of those who keeps indigenous seeds for the whole village. 
53. Indignant, indignant, being or showing anger or dissatisfaction over something. The festival turned out to be a horrifying event since those indignant slammers appeared. 54. Inexcusable, inexcusable, unacceptable, or unforgivable. Being late for almost half of the monthly working day is an inexcusable, inexcusable action for getting the sack. Fifty-five, live it, live it. Being seriously, being fiercely angry or wrathful, I'm absolutely live it when receiving a phone call from my boss about me getting fired. Fifty-six, loony, loony. Being crazy or stupid, spending twelve loony hours fixing my dead PC leaves me in outburst negative vibes. Fifty-seven, ludicrous, ludicrous, so foolishly ridiculous or unreasonable. It's absolutely ludicrous to think that he will change his mind. Fifty-eight, maniacal. Maniacal, extremely crazy or wild, with violent behavior. She was so haunted by the maniacal voice of the actor in that movie. Fifty-nine, miserable, miserable, showing unhappy or sorrowful attitude. As a mournful person, he tends to look at himself as a miserable creature. Sixty, misogynistic. Misogynistic, strongly prejudiced against women. The misogynistic way of living could possibly give male children more cares than the female ones. Sixty-one. Monsters, monsters being ugly like a monster or horrifying in nature. Children are mostly frightened when they are talked about some giant monsters creatures out there. Sixty-two. Nasty. Nasty, being highly unpleasant or horrible, it's all such a joke that we have come here for this nasty show. Sixty-three, nuanced, nuanced, belong to shady, subtle expression or meaning. She withdraws herself from a nuanced conversation that she thinks is gonna never get to the point. Sixty-four, oblivious. Oblivious, being ignorant or unaware of something. Most of the times, I've heard that those who are following religions are oblivious to the changes of the current world. Sixty-five, obsolete, obsolete, outdated or old-fashioned. Most of the obsolete machines are being replaced by the new technologies. Sixty-six, abtus, abtus. Annoyingly unintelligent, or dull, or uncomprehending, the internet has shown us that there are particular comments that are deliberately obtuse. Sixty-seven, viable, viable, being able to work successfully, workable, or manageable. He believes that he can leverage this business into a viable future a few years from now. Sixty-eight, pedantic. Pedantic, so dogmatic or fussy or academic. We were at a literature book fair where many of the pedantic works were available.